everyone, big news for Indian American community in the United States. In a historic election, seven Indian Americans have won seats in the U.S. House of Representatives, bringing our communities present in Congress to a new height. So, what are we waiting for? Let's break it down and see how this happened, who are these leaders and what it means for Indian representation in America. To give you some background, the Samosa Caucus is what they call the group of Indian American representatives in Congress. It began with a handful of leaders and now it's growing stronger. Previously, we had five Indian Americans serving in the House, but now these are seven. Firstly, meet the newest member, Suhas Subramaniam, one of the most exciting wins in Suhas Subramaniam's victory. He's a lawyer and has been serving as a state senator in Virginia. Suhas has now become the first Indian American elected from Virginia and the entire East Coast. He won against his Republican opponent, Mike, and he's thrilled to be representing Virginia's 10th district in Congress. Now, Suhas shared his excitement saying that he's honored and humbled to serve his district. For him, it's not just a job. This is personal. Virginia is his home where he and his wife Miranda are raising their daughters. So, he truly understands the challenges his community faces. Before becoming a state senator, Suhas has served as a White House advisor for former President Barack Obama. He's already a familiar face among Indian Americans and adds a lot of energy to a Samosa caucus. Now shifting our focus to the re-elected five, keeping strong representation, all five existing Indian American members of Congress were re-elected, showing their continued popularity and the trust their communities place in them. First in the list is Ami Bera. Dr. Ami Bera is the senior most member of the Samosa caucus. He has been representing California's 6th district since 2030, making this his 7th term. As a physician, he is known for advocating healthcare reforms and supporting science and technology. Second in the list is Raja Krishnamurti. Representing Illinois' 8th district, Raja has just won his 5th consecutive term. Raja often shares his family's immigrant journey saying that his parents came to the United States with little more than a dream. His mission in Congress? That is to help other families achieving their own dreams. Then we'll talk about Ro Khanna. Ro represents California's 17th district and he's known for his strong stance on tech policy and economic innovation, specifically around Silicon Valley, where his district is located. Now this is another term for Ro to keep pushing for a better future for the tech world and beyond. Then comes Pramila Jayapal. Representing Washington State's 7th District, Pramila is a well-known voice for social justice and equality. She has been a prominent advocate for immigration reforms, healthcare, and even workers' rights. Then comes Sri Thanedar. She represents a Mission Gums 13th District. Originally from India, Sri's journey is a true example of an immigrant success story winning his second term after the first victory in 2023. He is really committed to bringing positive challenges to Michigan. The seventh Indian American representative, that is Dr. Amir Shah, another Indian American candidate from Arizona. He won a cut-to-cut -cut competition in Arizona. Dr. Shah won with 50.9% of vote share as his opponent Dr. Shrekard won 49.1%. Now, what this means for Indian Americans? Let's discuss that. Now, for Indian Americans, this increased representation is more than just a number. It shows how the community's influence is growing and how our leaders are making a difference in American society. Each of these representatives bring unique perspective on issues that matter to us, whether it's healthcare, education, immigration, or any economic growth. The Samosa Caucus is becoming a voice for Indian American values, pushing for politics that improve lives not only in their own districts but across the country. It's a proud moment for Indian Americans everywhere, showing the strength and potential of our community in the United States. For more such videos, do follow Times XP.